stress, an invisible weight we all carry. But for women, it doesn't just weigh on the mind. It's biological, psychological, and social. Understanding stress in women means diving into the complexity of hormones, emotions, and expectations. Let's explore how and why stress affects women differently, and what we can do about it. Stress is the body's natural response to perceived threats, real or imagined. It's a survival mechanism. But women don't just experience stress, they process it through a different lens. Their hormonal cycles, neurotransmitters, and social pressures create a distinct, often more intense experience. At the core is the HPA axis, a communication line between your brain and adrenal glands that triggers cortisol, the body's primary stress hormone. But estrogen and progesterone modulate how this axis behaves. Estrogen tends to buffer the stress response, calming the system. But during menstruation, postpartum, or menopause, when estrogen drops, women may feel more anxious or reactive. This hormonal ebb and flow shapes a woman's vulnerability to chronic stress. Serotonin, often called the feel-good chemical, is crucial for mood balance. When levels dip, often due to hormonal shifts, depression and anxiety can surface. But women also produce more oxytocin, the love hormone, which promotes bonding and social buffering. Oxytocin can reduce cortisol, but only if social bonds are present. That's why supportive relationships can literally make stress less toxic for women. Stress isn't just what happens, it's how we interpret what happens. Cognitive appraisal is the process of evaluating a situation's meaning and threat. Women tend to internalize more, ruminating and catastrophizing more than men. Cultural conditioning also plays a role. Women are taught to hold it together, to nurture, to achieve, but not to collapse. This pressure alters how emotions are managed and sometimes suppressed. Society often asks women to be everything, everywhere, all at once. Mother, professional, caretaker, beauty standard. And when you try to meet all those expectations, you often meet one thing, burnout. From workplace inequality to social media perfectionism, the pressure to perform, to be, becomes a chronic stressor. And while women are often the support systems for others, they're rarely given that same support in return. But stress doesn't have to define us. Adaptive coping strategies like mindfulness, social connection, problem solving, and self-reflection build resilience. Women who lean into positive reframing, who seek support, who practice self-care, are not just managing stress, they're transforming it. Not every stressor can be removed, but every response can be reshaped. Mindfulness increases emotional awareness, allowing space between reaction and response, and with practice, the brain rewires. Stress doesn't disappear, but our sensitivity to it and our recovery from it gets stronger. Stress in women is not weakness, it's biology, shaped by psychology, sculpted by society. And when we understand it, we can honor it, heal it, and grow stronger because of it.